guys, in this video we're going to be fitting a Dodge Hellcat body to my burnout car. Want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck. I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. If you haven't seen the videos about this thing, guys, I'm going to put a link to that up here somewhere. But pretty much it's a one-tenth scale touring car and I put in a one-eighth scale power system. Rear wheel drive, front line lock, disc brake, loads of power, 6S LiPo, lock diffs, alloy wheels on the front. This thing rips. It literally rips burnouts and smokes the tyres up in seconds. All it needs now is a nice looking body shell. And we're going to start with this Dodge Hellcat here. Unfortunately, it's not the wide body version, but eh. What the hell is this funny line going all the way across here? And there. Suppose you buy cheap, you get cheap. But it comes with stickers, it comes with window masks. Now I wanna keep the windows clear, so I'm not gonna be using any of these. But we got the window masks, and also we got all the other stickers. Color wise, uh, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Also down here, I got a Nissan Skyline GTR 35 body shell. So let me know what color you want me to paint this one. Like and subscribe. So I'm gonna start off with by cutting this out. Straight scissors for the straight lines, curvy scissors for the curves. I'm gonna start off with just by rough cut Cutting it to get the worst of it all off first. <laughs> Guys, this plastic is proper flimsy. I really can't see it lasting long. By the way, check this out. I've got these drifting sparkle wheels. And they've actually got bits of flint inside the tyres. So as these things wheel spinning, there should be sparks and stuff flying out. So we're going to try these out at some point too. Not in this video though. Subscribe! Alright, so next I've now got to cut it a little bit neater and actually cut it to the lines. <laughs> Guys, this is almost like paper. By the way, I've got another project coming up. I want to get myself another one of these platforms and fit a nitro engine, something big like this, 28 size, in the front and actually mount it right down. So there's going to, so there's going to be no diff in there. The engine is going to be straight to the bottom. Then when we fit a body shell, we can cut a hole out the body here and have the engine actually poking out through the bonnet. And then the exhaust pipe, I don't know, maybe root exhaust actually through the car like a real car, have, having them come out the back. Or maybe we could have open headers coming out the bonnet. Or maybe we could have the exhaust coming out the side. I don't know. And then we're going to have a three speed gearbox or maybe a two-speed gearbox, I don't know. If I can find a three-speed gearbox, we're going to mount that to the side. So engine there, gearbox there, the shaft going to the rear, and just let this thing rip. I reckon that's going to be a really good project. The only thing that I'm not sure about is how I could actually rig up the brakes. That's going to be the difficulty. I want to still have brakes on the front wheel so we can hold the front brakes and rip a burnout. So I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to have to do is try and make some sort of a braking mechanism, put the actual disc brakes inside the rims like on a real car. So if you've got any ideas guys, give me a note in the comments of how I can do that. Next, we've got to mark out the body holes and also where the arches are going to go. So next I've got to make the holes and for that we want to use a reamer. Don't be tempted to use a drill bit, it never comes out nice. Alright, so next I've got to line up the arches, and you can get these with a blade in here. I haven't got one, I'm just going to do it like this. As you can see, the wheelbase doesn't quite line up, it's a little bit stretched, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hard to see, but we get a rough idea. Alright, so next I've got to cut these out, and uh, you can see my line is a little bit out to the line what there is on the body, so I've got to kind of try and go with a line of best fit. So the front actually lines up pretty good, so the front I'm just going to cut the line from the factory. Then looking at the rear, you can see, look, there's the factory line and here's my line. We're gonna have to try and compromise a little bit. Probably gonna look, look a little bit silly anyway, regardless what I do, to be honest. All right, got it on. The front wheels are definitely too wide. I think these alloys are a wider offset, so we're gonna have to take these off when we're running this body shell. The rears, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more out just so it doesn't rub. But overall, guys, it does Fit. Not perfectly, but it does fit. It almost seems as if this body is like a tiny little bit too small. We could have done with being a little bit wider and just a little bit longer. So looking at the real one, it's got black around here, black along here, and black along here and here. I want to do the same on here, so I'm gonna to have to mask it up. But before we do that, I want to key up all the surfaces, and for that, I'm gonna use a Scotch Bright pad. Just gives the paint something to stick to, and you don't want to go over the windows with this because it's gonna show afterwards. Next, I've got to degrease it. People always tell me for using brake cleaner, but eh, seems to do the job for me. I'm not submerging it, only giving it a quick wipe.
All right, so I've got it all masked up now. So now I'm just going to add some black paint. Subscribe. All right, so we just got all the masking off. So now we've got to put on the red. Just got to do a quick dust coat first, let it dry, and then we'll give it a final coat. So we're going to give that five minutes now to go off, and then we're going to give it a final coat. Another project that I want to do soon, I want to get another one of these, but leave it four wheel drive. Put in an even bigger motor because look, we've literally got all the way to the end of that receiver where we can go. So we can fit a massive great big motor in there. The same again, make it 6S, but no line lock obviously on that one. It's just going to be four wheel drive. So the idea with that one is to do four wheel drive burnouts and also to get some speed runs out of it. Because the actual diffs in these things are surprisingly tough. It really does take the beating. I really am surprised how much punishment you can put through these. Also guys, I've got the Rustler four wheel drive and that, that will be with me soon. Also, I've ordered a Armour Creighton. So we can put that up against like something like the e Revo or something and see which one's really king. All right, so while I'm waiting for that red paint to dry, I was gonna cut out some of these stickers. So the reason for the white paint, it just makes the red stand out more. So if you look at this body here, this body here is the same color red, but it's backed with black and it makes it a little bit darker. This one here, as you can see, it's a bit brighter because it's backed with a white. Probably a little bit difficult to see on camera, but in real life, it's very obvious. Right, so now that's all nice and dry, we can pull off the last remaining masks. Then I might put a little bit of tinting spray on there. So this stuff here is called smoke and it just kind of makes it a little bit of a tinted effect. And you don't go too mad with this, you just give it a nice light coating. So now we can pull off the protective film and that should reveal a nice shiny body underneath. Oh, look at that guys. All right, so next some stickers and we should be done. All right, so I'm gonna put the rest of the stickers on and then we'll put you back on. Subscribe. So let's come with some other toot here. Let's have a little look what's in there. So we've got a wing. I won't be running that because nah. But it's got mirrors in here, so possibly, but they look a bit out of place. I mean, when you look at the proper one, they're a lot more sort of sleek and nice looking. So I think I'm gonna leave them off. I don't want it looking like Dumbo. All right, so got it all on there now. But even though I took the alloys off, these are a lot wider offset. I've gone back to standard offset. They're still poking out and look on the rear as well. Maybe I can get the heat gun on there and try and bow them out a little bit. Let's try. All right, guys, this could go so wrong. I put some bits of wood in here just to push the body out. If I put a little bit of heat on there with a heat gun, hopefully that's going to ease the body work out slightly. And I've put another bit of tape on the bottom here because I don't want the whole body sticking out. I just want to kind of flare the arches a little bit. It probably won't work, but if I don't try, I won't know. All right, so it's a little bit better, so let's have a quick montage. So this is where I got it from, from eBay. I mean, for the price, it's not too bad. I mean, it has got that funny line that goes across here. With the paint on there, it's not actually as visible as it was before. Also, I messed up a little bit. Look, some of the paint sort of bled through a little bit there. But all things considered, guys, I don't think it actually came out too bad. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. There's going to be a burnout video soon. We're going to let this thing rip up. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.